speaking over you God's forgiveness. Unnecessary for them to be there is my point. You can do that without them. But then they'll say something like, well, go and pray or read a psalm. That's your penance. And the penance does two things. In many people's mind, it makes up for the sin which is committed. Now, that's not theological teaching behind it, but that's what people think. And also, it's supposed to give you strength not to do it again. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Instead of penance, I should say that the Bible only advocates what might be called penance, putting things right, if, if we have the opportunity to do so. Example, we should apologise for what we've said. That's a kind of penance that God calls us to do, isn't it? We can return stolen goods. I once had a young man who wanted to know what he must do to be saved. We were able to tell him, well, believe on the Lord Jesus. But by the way, if you've given your life to Christ, take all those stolen goods back to the shop or hand them into the police. Which he did. Praise God. Zacchaeus is a biblical example of someone who came to faith in Jesus. He said, look, Lord, I give half my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay him back four times. Making restitution is biblical, but penance? Not really. Penance, some people think it's uh, making amends for your sin. There's no way you can make amends for your sin. That's why Jesus died. You have to accept his forgiveness, and it sets your life and heart and conscience free that you might live a new life. There's nothing you or I can do to undo the sins we've committed. Thank God there's something he has done. I love that picture. That's an actual sculpture made of metal. And it's just got the, the gap in it. It's in the shape of Jesus on the cross. To remind us that Jesus' sacrifice is enough to take us clean into heaven. If we believe he died for us and rose again. Listen, you don't have to worry this morning about whether you've had access to the pastoral priest. If you're saved, Jesus said, I give them eternal life. And there's something about eternal life, you know what? It's eternal. <laughs> and uh, his forgiveness is a gift that keeps on giving. Our relationship is directly with God. We've, by believing in Jesus, we've been born again of his spirit. We come directly to the Father. And if there's something between us and the Father, guess what? We can sort it out with him directly through his beloved son. Two verses to finish off this morning. I've gone a bit. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Although they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. What about this one? As far as the east is from the west. So far as he removed our transgressions from us. How wonderful that we can know the blessing of forgiveness. Now I know we've just scratched the surface this morning. I know there's so much more we could say. But let's give a heartfelt thank you to Jesus for our salvation. Perhaps with a song. I mentioned this song a couple of times. Yes, knock us off. I'm accepted.